Hi there, Jennifer Roberts here with a tutorial for X-Plane. This video was recorded in a preview for X-Plane 10 Mobile version 10.8, but it works basically the same on X-Plane for your desktop computer. Today we're going to walk through how to start the Boeing 747 from cold and dark. Let's start with our boarding prep. First, we'll flip our utility power switches and then the battery to on. Next, the bus tie switches and generator control switches to on. Set your cockpit dome light dial as desired now, then turn the APU selector switch to start and wait for the external generator 1 switch to enunciate available. Now tap it to on. Next, we'll move down to the hydraulic panel and turn on all the engine hydraulic switches. Then turn fuel cross feed switches number 1 and 4 to on. Move up here to turn the yaw damper switches to on. Then move down to the left and right bleed air isolation switches, APU bleed, and the engine bleed air valve switches. Flip the nav light switch to on if necessary. It looks like it's on by default here. You can adjust your panel backlight dials now as desired. And we'll verify the gear handle is in the down position. It is. Set the MCP floodlights dial as desired and ensure the cockpit dome light is off. Now we'll do our startup prep. Turn the hydraulic demand pump number four switch to auxiliary and the hydraulic demand pumps one, two, and three to auto. Turn the main fuel tank pump switch forward and aft to on and the center tank fuel pump switches left and right to on. Finally, flip the beacon light switch down to both. And now we're on to the actual engine startup. We'll start with engine number four. Pull engine number four start switch by tapping it. Monitor engine number four N2 on screen down here in the center console. When N2 is at approximately 15%, flip the engine number four fuel control switch to run below the throttles here and wait for engine number four to stabilize at approximately 18% in one. We'll do this same procedure for engines one, then two, and three. So I'm going to fast forward through this part. Now, to finish up, turn the APU generator switch to off, the APU selector switch to off, and the APU bleed air switch to off. Move the hydraulic demand pump switch number 4 to auto now, and set the AC pack selector switches as desired. Finally, switch the strobe light switch to on, which again, it already is by default here. Well, now you know how to start the Boeing 747 just like a pilot in any version of X-Plane you use. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. 